Life in the ocean is under threat. Climate change, plastic pollution, overfishing, and many other crises caused by humans are putting incredible and increasing pressures on marine life. It's more important than ever for us to have accurate information, to help conservation efforts beneath the waves and in areas like fisheries management. Luckily, there are non-invasive, non-destructive methods that we can use to study fish populations and obtain this information. When researchers study fish populations, especially in coastal regions like coral reefs, they tend to be looking for a few key pieces of information. What species are present? How many of them there are? And how big they are? If we don't know these three things, our understanding of fish ecology and our ability to best manage fish populations is severely limited. The traditional way to get this information is with an underwater visual census, or a UVC, which involves scuba divers swimming along a predefined route, known as a transect, with a slate and pencil, noting down any fish they see and estimating the length. But estimating the type, number, and size of every fish you see while swimming along a transect can be very challenging and requires a great deal of training to make sure that a low number of errors are made. Advances in video technology have now allowed us to replace the slate and pencil method. The diver-operated stereo video method, or stereo dove, gives us a more accurate snapshot of fish populations. It also lets us collect data on the abundance, size, and behavior of fishes at the same time. But what is stereo dove? What makes it a better method than UVC? And when should you use it? A stereo video system uses two cameras that are slightly angled towards each other so that the fields of view overlap. In marine environments, both cameras are attached to a rigid base bar and carried by a single diver. As the diver swims along, both cameras record what's happening in their field of vision. The overlapping recordings let you calculate highly accurate estimates of the length of fishes without having to estimate or physically catch and measure them. This method is easy to learn and use for anyone who can scuba dive. You don't need extensive training, and because the cameras are doing the work of spotting the fishes and the identification and size estimations are done later, you can collect a lot more data. Collecting video also means that you have a permanent record of each fish you've seen. You can spend time making sure that your identifications are correct, or even send the footage to another expert to check. Having video footage also allows you to extract information on things like habitat type and fish behavior too. So what can we do with the data collected by stereo doves? A number of researchers have started using the data collected by stereo doves to answer important questions that relate to conservation and fisheries management. For example, if we survey inside and outside of a no-tape marine reserve, we are able to determine if there are more fish within its boundaries and whether or not these fish are larger. If a number of other researchers use the same method to sample a number of other marine reserves, we can then combine our data to provide information on what aspects might make a marine reserve work more efficiently. And this is something that has been difficult to do in the past as researchers have often used a number of different methods and different protocols for those methods that make it difficult to combine data and answer these broad scale questions. So we hope that by providing a standard set of instructions for stereo doves, Researchers will be able to use the method in the same way and we won't have these same problems with combining data. We also hope that this will help with tracking changes in fish populations over time, which is a really important task given we are already witnessing changes to the marine environment from threats like climate change. Another important piece of information that can be collected using a stereo dove is behaviour or how wary a fish is towards a diver. And a recent study has shown that fish behaviour can be more sensitive to changes in fishing pressure than your traditional measures such as abundance or biomass, the weight of a fish. And this means that by measuring fish behaviour, we may be able to detect impacts on fish populations more rapidly 
and therefore respond and implement changes to management more rapidly. Extracting information on fish behaviour and how wary a fish is from a stereo dove system is actually quite simple as all you need to do is measure how close you can get to each fish before it swims away or flees. And previous studies have shown that in areas where there is a lot of fishing pressure, fish are indeed more wary of divers. So it might be possible for us to do things like detect whether there has been poaching within the marine reserve without having to physically catch or observe the poachers. Like all methods, there are disadvantages to using stereo doves. You should take the time to consider if this is the right method for the fishes you're studying or the area you're working in. It can be difficult to sample smaller species or those that hide in habitats using this method. And in areas where there's a lot of spear fishing, fish may avoid divers altogether. You need to factor in the time it takes to watch and analyze the videos that you've recorded. Stereo doves can provide accurate information on fish abundance, size, behavior, and habitat. They're a great tool to collect information on fish populations that can be used for fisheries management and conservation strategies. With advances in technology, these methods are only going to become more efficient and accurate in the future. In A Field and Video Analysis Guide for Diver-Operated Stereo Video, Goetze and his colleagues have provided a standardized set of procedures for stereo dove surveys. Hopefully, these guidelines help to reduce variation in methodologies across researchers, increase our capacity to synthesize data to answer broad-scale ecological questions, and make stereo dove studies more reliable for long-term monitoring projects.